what is up my peeps um back again with more alan wake uh last time i really struggled running down this little path here um but uh yeah now let's let's get back to the story here now that we're done that stupid thing is there something this way oh boy i have to go that way then is there something this way uh-huh oh, i see red there but i don't think it's anything okay well just gonna head this way <clears throat> my nose is like super itchy it's like right on like that middle partition too. A car was driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction. Ah! For all I knew, it was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. Do I get a gun here? Huh? Uh, yes, I want a heavy duty flashlight. Would I not? Still no pew pew though. The car was heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. Just in case jumps. I don't like these wood. Yeah. Oh, that in. Scream all you want. Whoa. I'm trying to deliver each page to the right time and place. I'm trying to show you how the story goes. What was that? I had seen glimpses of the light before. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. Yeah. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. What the? I don't want to step on it. Oh my. This is a whole new element here. That homie again. Oh, it's normal light. Oh. What? Star Wars looking stuff. Someone had left a gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. Like it? Take in our field with darkness. Okay, so we got shoddy and some players. races during this game when I'm doing nothing. <sighs> okay. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to start. Yeah.
so glad that they made these people one shot because I would have been dead already. How many shots have I got left? Eight. Dude, relax, man. Oh, snap. Step in bear traps. It's a good, uh, good idea. It helped me save ammo too. This is really squad. Dude. Don't stop coming, huh? Anybody here? Ah! Barry! Ah! Ah! No! Stanley! You're not! Ah! Please! Ah! Oh, oh, what are you? What are you? Ah! No! Don't! I'm sorry! Ah! Ah! What the heck? jail the other day. I went to the farm again. Oh, 
for the moonshine, you know? It, it makes you see. They're, they're not gonna miss it. They're in the loony bin. But my buddy, Danny, I lost him. Something's gone wrong with him. It's not him. Like a real bad follow-up to a real good movie. The best friends. Something. I've run through every possible course in my head. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story, and it's going to kill her, and me, and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. I've written myself into the story. I'm now the protagonist. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way, near escapes, cliffhangers. In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who will help me. I'll make it happen. Still a good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. Let's go this way. There's nothing in the toilet. painted on the outhouse. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Has the breathing this whole time been to signify that I'm near the chest thing? Okay, well, that makes it a little less scary because then I know it means something good rather than bad. I still genuinely don't like that. It makes my stomach, like, not up. Like, I'm controllably. <sighs> if Barry wasn't up here, he's was probably in trouble down at the farm. For a moment, I felt bad for doubting it. After all, I made it this far myself. But Barry was Barry. I always stop for coffee. Curious to see how many I collected.
exit this way. This looks. <laughs> no way. Oh. I thought I was going to get to light that. I'd known the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. Yeah. Okay. 
give it a shotgun. Capital of America. Very safe. Hey, Al! This way to the farm! See, bestseller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. We need to get this thing moved out of the way. This is as far as I got before they ambushed me. Yeah. Okay. I figure out how to get up there. There it is. He's busy. Nice flashlight. Hey, I think Alan Wake here has something to say. Uh, what's that, Al? Ooh, I'm Alan Wake. I'm always right about everything. And if I don't get my way, I'll solve all day long. I'm always intense and moody. It makes me attractive and mysterious. Right now, I'm just standing here because I need my best friend Barry to carry me. But that's okay. I can just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. Yeah, it was pretty good. You want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? Yeah. Thought so. Good idea. Yeah, you first. Go ahead. Wow! <laughs> you look at that thing, Al! They really went all out with this Viking crap, didn't they? Look at all this stuff! They must have done okay for themselves. Sleep. We all spend uh, a few of our night dreams spring. in a soft embrace. Man. Somewhere it's between memory. fantasy and Hey, living. remember when I got you that gig? But Your first real writing job. What got you started? 
Was this one of your episodes? Vice versa. In Night Springs. Tonight's episode. Hmm. Why that's so cut up on my The Dream of Dreams. Nah, that's by someone else. We join Mr. Jones as he explores the endless dreamscape, only to be brought to a sudden stop by a decidedly mundane situation. A long line of people. Hey, Jones, right? Listen, we're gonna have to wait until his highness over there is good and ready. Oh, wow, who's that? You don't know him? What are you, new? He's the guy dreaming us. Well, not just us. He dreams everything, all of this. But wait, no, I'm the one who's dreaming. I'm asleep. Isn't, isn't this my dream? Oh, yeah, sure. Get real, pal. You're just another dream. I'm a dream. You're a dream. The weirdo in the diving suit is a dream, and the girl made of smiles and sunshine is definitely a dream. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I'm dreaming this. Well, maybe you're a really confused dream. What am I, a shrink? All I know is I'm going with the smart guys, and they say that's the guy doing the dreaming. Right there. I don't know what that means. It means we keep him happy. No sudden falls. We make sure he has his clothes on when he goes out in public. No chases where the monster is nipping at his heels and he runs like crazy, but his legs don't seem to get him anywhere. None of that. Because if he wakes up in a cold sweat... Oh... Yeah, precisely. So we wait till he wants to move on. Poof, there, are nice and calm. Hey, something... something's happening here. Yeah? What's that? What? Can't you hear that? Oh, God help us. It's an alarm clock. Oh, it's you, isn't it? Please, man, I got a wife and kids. Please don't wake... <laughs> Trigger something. The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. Himself. <laughs> I think you see me just drool on the camera. <laughs> Ooh.
does Barry go when all this happens? It's vibing. That was kind of a long one. Um, let's call that the episode. Um, thank you for tuning in. I will catch you guys in the next one.